Hi guys, this is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So today gagawa tayo ng um, tutorial for a no makeup makeup look. So itong look na to, magagamit natin siya kapag yung mga days na gusto natin mag-ayos pero ayaw natin magmukhang naka-makeup. So may mga ganun days talaga eh. Ayaw natin na sobrang halatang nag-effort tayo. Mga ganun. So minsan sa work, minsan sa mga occasions na ayaw natin magmukhang nag-effort tayo. Minsan, hindi tayo comfortable na mukhang may makeup tayo. May mga occasion kasi na parang, wow, nakapag-makeup ka pa. Gusto natin mukha lang tayong fresh. To be honest with you guys, di ko na siya ganun nagagawa. Kasi nga, kapag pumupunta naman ako sa work, that means walking three steps to my office table. So, yun lang yung going to work ko ngayon nga kasi naka-quarantine tayong lahat. Kaya, pag ganun, nagkikilay lang ako at Johnson's baby powder. Okay na ako. Pwede na mag-zoom. Just a disclaimer, this is not a standard way of how to do these things, but this is just how I do it. Ngayon, I'm gonna share with you guys kung paano ko siya gawin. So, let's get started. Okay. First things first. So, syempre, kagaya dati, maglilinis muna tayo ng ating face before doing any makeup look. So, so right now, I'm using my Eskinal Pimple Fighting Facial Deep Cleanser. Gumagamit ako ng itong reusable cotton pads and I suggest you guys use this kasi sobrang tipid niya. If you, you know, definitely naglilinis rin naman kayo ng face nyo daily. So, it's better to use this kasi it throw nyo lang with the laundry and boom. Okay na. Magagamit nyo na siya ulit. Next is yung ating toner. So, for my toner, I'm using the C alcohol-free whitening toner. It's also anti-aging, this one. And not that I'm trying to make my skin look lighter or whiter. It's just that this is the toner that works for my skin. And it's really hard to look for a toner na nag-work sa skin ko. Kasi I have tried so many products that hindi talaga siya nag-work. So ito yung nag-work sa akin. Although marami akong acne marks. Kasi nga, kakatapos lang ng red days. So... Yun, pagbigyan nyo na muna yung hormones na yan. Dapat gentle lang talaga yung application natin. Pero ako kasi hindi ko maiwasan na din na drag-drag ko yung balat ko. That's a bad practice. Kasi kapag bawas na yung elasticity ng balat natin, minsan hindi na siya babalik. Hindi na siya babalik. Hindi na siya babalik. So, pag dinrag mo siya in a certain area, hindi na siya babalik. So guys, stop doing it. Just... Don't, don't copy what I'm doing right now. Next is I'm gonna clean my hands a little. Well, I have this container here for my alcohol. Para sa kamay ko. Eh, kasi lagi kong nahahawakan yung mukha ko kahit, um, kahit dapat hindi ko siya lagi hinahawakan. Kasi nga, laging madumi yung kamay natin. Tapos hindi natin alam kung saan tayo humahawak. Tapos mamaya, hawakan natin yung face natin. So, yun. But, the whole skincare routine, I'm gonna make another video for that because that's a whole different topic. So for now, let's just focus on the no makeup makeup look. So next step is um, put the moisturizer. The moisturizer is very important in this look because we don't want our skin to look dry. Because if it looks dry, the makeup natin kitang kita siya. So if you put anything on top of a dry skin, kitang kita siya, guys. So because it's gonna crack, siya. kitang kita yung concealer, kitang kita lahat. So important to use moisturizer for this look. Also, even if you're not doing any makeup, just put on moisturizer. That's very important. Um, also put sunscreen on. This one, I'm using Olay. This has sunscreen on it, so I'm covered. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the eyebrows. So since it's 2021, I'm going to try the bushy brows, even if... Sa total lang, I've tried this so many times at hindi siya talaga bagay sa akin. But, I feel like in this look, it would actually suit. So, for this, I'm using this brow styling cream by... I'm not sure what this is there. Sorry for my nails. Pero, any clear soap will do. Actually, kahit hindi ata clear. So, I'll just spray water on it and then wait for it to settle a little bit so that we can create a pasty um pasty texture and i'm also using this small spoolie from caroline best brow liner 
Um, you can also use any spoolie you want. You can use something like this. Pero kasi ako gusto ko to kasi maliit siya. I think mas madali ko siya i-control. Sorry, I'm like looking at the product that I have here. Baka hindi ko lahat nalabas. And that's what makes making this video even harder. Maraming mga artista na gumagawa nung um, fluffy brows. And I think that's nice. Kasi that means we're all trying to go for a more natural look these days. So what I want to do is brush all my eyebrows upward with this. So ang ginagawa ko, nagkumukuha ako ng konting products dito. Tapos tatanggalin ko yung mga excess. Kasi baka sobra-sobra yung mapalagay natin. Sabi nga nila, kapag lahat daw ng sobra, masama. Parang hindi yun. Ito ba yun? Lahat ng sobrang masama. Ah, hindi naman. So, it's very important that it's on a pasty texture para yung mga ito, yung mga stubborn na brows madadala niya. Kasi Mahirap yan dalahin kapag yung texture ng soap nyo ay hindi pa siya pasty. Wala pa siya dun sa right texture. Pag masyado maraming water, hindi siya madadala. So, yun. So, ayan. Nadadala naman na siya. Also, my eyebrows, they're screaming for justice right now. Kasi ang dami-dami ng mga ano, regrowth. Pero, tinatamad pa ako mag-groom. Hindi ko pa siya mag-groom. Kasi hindi naman ako umaalis. Plus, medyo gusto ko rin yung parang makapal yung tilay ko ngayon. So, let's also do that to this side. Sometimes you wanna go like this to make sure that everything is actually covered with the brow soap. Tapos sa kama siya, iaangat. Mukha siyang laminated brows. It's Tuesday, 6.44pm. So later, I have work at 10.30pm. And actually, after this video, I'll still try to sleep So ngayon, mukha na akong halimaw. <laughs> so ngayon, achieve na natin ang malahalimaw kong kilay. Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi bagay sa akin eh. Pero, hindi pa yan tapos. <laughs> ang sunod na gagawin natin, ibabrush natin yung um, top na part niya. So yung taas, ibabrush natin na ganon, tapos i-clean natin siya ng konti. Kasi that's how we achieve that clean-looking, laminated, fluffy brows. So, ganito lang siya. Ibabrush natin siya. So, desired natin na length. Ako medyo gusto ko siya ibaba ng konti kasi sobrang taas niya. I think lahat mag-a-agree na sobrang taas niya talaga. So, ayan. So, ganyan na lang muna siya. Tapos, unti-unti natin siya ulit babalikan na. Ayan. Para hindi naman flat na flat looking yung, yung taas niya. Ayan. So now, nakashape na siya sa gusto kong shape. So gawin natin siya sa kabilang eyebrow. Natry ko na to na ilang beses pero hindi siya talaga bagay sa akin kasi nga yung tubo ng kilay ko, mapapansin nyo, sobrang daming parts na kailangan i-fill in. And yun yung gagawin natin later. So ngayon, yung direction ng eyebrows ko, yan na yung, 
I think, idea for my eyebrows. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko, if you fill in ko yung mga gaps, so makikita natin maraming parts na walang eyebrows. Ayun, i-reveal ko na siya. So, lalagyan natin siya ng eyebrow powder. So, pwede rin kayong gumamit dito ng eyebrow pencil, or I prefer using powder. This is uh, the eyebrow cake by Shawil. So, I'm also gonna spray a little bit of water in there and, and grab this angled brush and kukuha lang ko ng konting product. And then, if you fill in ko lang yung mga gaps. So, unti-unti lang. So, ganto-ganto lang tayo kasi nga, we're trying to make it look natural. So, very lightly lang. Tapos, kapag may nagalaw tayo ng konting eyebrow, ayos-ayosin lang ulit natin kasi mawala siya sa kanyang posisyon. Kabila naman. Kung mapapansin natin, hindi pantay yung kilay ko kasi may mga part dito na hindi siya tinutubuan talaga ng eyebrows. I think pwede kong i-extend dun yung mahahaba kong eyebrow. So, angat natin siyang ganyan. Ayan. Tapos still, wala ang kilay doon. Lalagyan natin siya ng konti. So, ayan. I think contento na ako sa eyebrows natin. So, next thing we want to do is we still want to make the lower part of it a little bit cleaner than this. So, maglalagay tayo ng concealer. So, for my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline in Sand Shade. So, I'm using Maybelline Concealer. I think it's a Fit Me Concealer. Yeah, it's a Fit Me Concealer. And I'm gonna use an angled brush to clean itong under the eyebrows. So, ay, ang dami. So, lagyan natin dito yung iba. So, ang gagawin ko lang is... So, yan. Didinisin ko yung ilalim na yan. Para kahit, um, kahit we went for the more natural looking brows, medyo sleek pa rin siya tingnan. Make sure na medyo pantay sila kasi hirap yung sobrang hindi pantay. Although, hindi din naman talaga pantay yung eyebrows nating lahat. So, now that we're done with our eyebrows, um, ngayon, mag-proceed naman tayo sa ating, sa ating face. So, for me, I don't wanna put on a full foundation sa buong mukha natin. So, what I want to do is use my foundation as concealer to the areas that I really wanna cover. So, I want to retain the parts of my face na gusto kong gusto kong makita pa rin kasi there are areas na okay na magamitin ko lang yung Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in light beige. So, I'll just use my finger so let's make sure na malinis yung kamay natin. I'm not using my brush for uh, this kasi there's a certain finish na nagagawa when we use our um, fingers. So, I'm gonna focus on the areas that I really wanna cover. Like, the side of the nose, kasi sometimes there are redness. The, this part of my nose is a bit weird. So, I'm gonna put some on that part too. So, the side of the nose. Of course, my under eye. You can also use concealer for this part. But me, I prefer using my foundation and then later I'll just check if I need to conceal some areas. Some on my cheeks. My forehead. I'm kind of okay with my forehead but I guess I'll just put some on this part since I have hair. I mean, I have a lot of facial hair in this area. So, I guess I want to cover some of 
them. So for the areas na gusto ko talaga i-cover, um, hihintayin ko mag-settle ng konti yung foundation before ko siya i-spread. So for the stubborn parts of your skin, the those are the parts that you want to conceal, like this one, this one, and this one. There's just a bunch of them now. I hate it. So I'm using my concealer to just put some dots and just leave them be for a moment. I need a moment for them to realize that they don't belong on my skin. So. Um, dahil nga medyo na-realize na niya na hindi siya belong dyan, pwede na natin gamitin yung finger natin on it and boom. The goal is to just lessen the harsh lines on the side of the, fond of the concealer. Next is, ilagay natin, maglagay tayo ng blush. So, for the blush, I, I wanna use this product. I've been using this product for years now. <laughs> Ito lang kung kailan ako titigil. I love the smell. And also, ah, bango niya. Also, ang dali niya gamitin. And the na ingredients are very natural. Shea butter, VCO, wax, grapeseed oil. Come on! So, gusto ko lang maglagay ng ganito. Ayan. Tapos, syempre, i... <laughs> Dami ko maglagay, no? Tapos, i... Ikaganito na lang natin siya. So, gamit lang natin dito sa look na to. Ito mga kamay natin. Na hopefully, ay malinis. So, mapapansin nyo, yung mga ginagamit nating products, lahat sila halos mga basang products. Like wax or the liquid foundation. Kasi binabawasan natin yung paggamit ng mga powder reproducts kasi yun yung mga products na nagkikake talaga. Mukha lang napadaan si Crush. Kaya namula lang tayo ng konti. So, that's the look that we're going for and I think na-achieve naman na natin siya. So, ang gagamitin ko for this is the BYS Translucent Loose Powder. Sobrang fine itong powder na to, kaya sana hindi niya ma-emphasize na nag-makeup tayo. So, for this, I'm gonna do, use a big fluffy brush para light lang. And hindi ganun kadaming product yung ilalagay natin, guys. So, tap natin yan. Ayun na. Okay na. So, sunod naman natin gagawin is yung eyes natin. Gusto rin natin medyo buhay yung eyes natin. Suggestion ko is mag soft line lang tayo. Which is basically just us putting a super thin layer of eyeliner. Not a liquid eyeliner. Like a brown shade eyeliner. Something that you would use on your eyebrow. Gagamitin ko lang din yung same angled brush na ginagamit ko kanina for my eyebrows. So maglalagay lang ako ng super super thin super thin line lang on this side, and then mascara. Put your mirror down below, and then you can look from there, and then, yun na, mas madali mong ma-reach ma yung area na yun. So, just keep it very close to the lash line. Medyo buhay na yung eyes natin. But if we want to add some more, you can actually put a little bit of eyeshadow, but I can just show that later on. So, for those who don't want to 
put eyeshadow for this look, we can proceed to the mascara. So, of course, we have to use a very good eyelash curler. And this one is, actually, I forgot the brand of this one. I've been using this for years, and I think binilan ko pa siya ng um, extra of this black thing. But I haven't used them kasi okay na okay pa siya, hindi siya nasisila. For the mascara, um, gagamitin ko is this Maybelline Total Temptation, which I used in my first video. But also, make sure, you can use any mascara you want. Just make sure that you remove the excess. So, what I like to do is, ganito, ibabrush ko lang dito yung mga excess na product. Kaya madumi na tong top na area. Kasi lagi ko tong ginagawa. Ayan. So, tinatanggal ko yung mga excess na product para hindi magiging spider lashes yung lashes natin. So, the goal is to separate the lashes. And, yun. Manipis lang yung product na mapunta. So, I always make sure that I have an extra spoolie or extra mascara brush with me na walang product para yun yung gagamitin ko pang separate just in case na nakita ko na marami na palang product na napunta dun sa eyelashes natin. There you go. Medyo bumubuka na yung mata natin. Medyo nagbrighten up na yung look natin. So next naman na gagawin ko is kukunin ko yung brush ko ng mascara na walang product. And lalagyan ko siya ng konting product from the other brush. <laughs> we don't want to put too much product on the lower lashes kasi no makeup, makeup nga, ba? Pero kapag na-perfect mo siya, parang naturally glowing yung mata mo, glowing lahat sa sa face mo. So, for this, okay na ako sa totoo lang, but other people might want to put a little bit of eyeshadow on their eyes. Just get the color that's really light, like this one, a little bit orangey. It's called Apricot in the Beauty Glaze palette. Konti lang din. And next is lipstick. So, for the lips naman, pwede naman tayong gumamit ng thing na ginamit natin kanina sa ating um, blush. Kasi, pwede siya for the lips. Pero before anything else, nag-moisturize muna ako ng lips ko using this one, Carmex. Ito talaga yung nag-work sa lips ko ngayon. So, pwede natin itong gamitin Tapos, kumuha lang, gamitin lang natin yung finger natin to put some on the inner part. And then kind of like, spread it like that. That's how my mother used to do lipstick. For me, okay na ako dyan. But for other people, ayaw nila na parang... Masyado siyang pink or masyado, masyado siyang kulang for them. So, yung isang recommendation for the lips is um, to use something in this shade. So, medyo brownish, orange. Medyo orange siya na medyo brown na medyo peach. The color is Nudie Patuti by BYS. Yun yung pwede natin gamitin. This one is actually matte, but yun, medyo natural looking siya. Hindi siya sobrang natural if malapit, pero if ganito yung distance niya, medyo okay na siya. Pwede na siya for a no makeup makeup, ba? Ang last touch for me, the finishing touch, is the highlighter. And this one, actually, lagi ko din siyang ginagamit sa office nung dati. And this one, lagi ko siyang ginagamit dati kasi nirecommend siya nung friend ko. So, shout out kay... Bianca. Kami yung dati na naghahanap nito sa sa Watsons kasi nagkakaubusan. So, this one, the strobe stick of Caroline. So, yun. So, syempre, gagamitin ulit natin yung finger natin. And then, 
Kasi ayaw natin na sobrang maparami. Kasi nga hindi naman na siya natural looking. So ito, sobrang gusto ko tong strobe stick na to. Sobrang tipid niyang gamitin. Hindi ko alam kung ilang taon ng magiging servisyo niya sa akin. So, maglalagay lang ako dito sa... Yan, dito. And then, ito. Lalagyan ko yung part na to. Tapos, dito. Hindi ko alam kung nakikita nyo, but in person, kita, makikita na siya. And also, last part is this part. Actually, hindi ata last part eh. This part. Lagi pa rin kami naglalagay nito ng friend ko. Well, si Bianca. <laughs> naglalagay kami nito dati. So, mukha kaming mukhang ang bright tingnan nung eyes. For sure kung kita siya sa camera. Kasi yung light thing. So, dagdagan na lang natin ng konti. For the sake of the video. So, ayan. Para medyo fresh looking siya. Tapos, minsan naglalagay din kami dito. Ayan. I think we're done with our look now. And I would stop with the lipstick thing. So, I'll just remove it. Narinig niyo yun? Yung po sa, sa likod na namin. So, tapos na ang ating look. Sana nagustuhan nyo tong look na ito. Ito ang aking no makeup makeup. And I haven't done this in a while. So yon sana matry nyo din to. And sana may nakuha kayo na tips and tricks on how I do it. Sana natutunan nyo yung natutunan kayo sa akin. Seriously. So thank you for suggesting this video. And hope to see you guys next video. Bye! May mga paplantita effect. <laughs> Magagalit yung ate ko. Kasi... Halaman niya yan. Yun yung totoo. Halaman niya yan. Tsaka yun nandun sa baba. Pero, ako yung gumawa ng mga uh, macrame niya. So, ba diba? Credits to my sister and her plants. And I'll be keeping them in my room for a while. Because, well, I miss them. I used to have them in there. But then, kinuha namin. Kasi, nilabas namin for some sunlight. But now, I'm gonna try to keep my room open para maarawan ng konti yung plants. And if ever naman na medyo, medyo malungkot yung plants dito, ilalabas ko siya ulit para naman maging healthy sila, di ba? Kasi maalaga naman akong tao. Maalaga naman ako. So, hindi ko sila papabayaan. Don't you worry. And hindi pa naman ako nakapatay ng plants. So, kamag-alala ate, alagaan ko sila. Dahil wala naman akong ibang aalagaan yun. I'm finally done. I can finally sleep. Bye!